I'm just going to say to people right here right now, I know I'm talking about Cherry Orchard Hospital a lot because it is a serious topic. Mental health is a serious topic. And they're putting children's lives at risk by closing Lindau Ward. They're putting people's children's lives at risk. They're putting other people's lives at risk too. Because God knows what, these children are really sick though. And I hate to say it, but they are really sick. And I said the message to the person, which is the Tomnayer, the president's office, may I say. His secretaries, he has a few secretaries working for him. I said to him, and you think that'd be the top priority of his secretaries? And of course, uh, there's a presidential election coming up in the next few months. You think they, they'd be running to, to the door of the president? Here, Mr. President, this is something serious you need to look at. Do something about it. We have to do something about this. You could get elected b b by doing something nice about this. We open in the hospital. Give a few bob to them. Give a few extra bob to the hospital. And say, just, you can build another few wards or something. That that would really look nice on them. But no, he just they decided just to completely ignore me. I said a mesh yesterday evening. Around 8 o'clock. And it's been a whole day. And a few hours. And they haven't even responded. They haven't even, they probably haven't even looked at it. That just shows you. The Michael D. Higgins is the most annoying little person ever of Ireland. At least if that was Mary Robertson and Mary McAleese, they were probably, they probably even was, they probably, the, the secretaries would probably even go and tell Mary Robertson and Mary McAleese that, that something was going on, the former persons of Ireland. And I'd say they look at it, and Mary, especially Mary Robertson, because she's all for children. And everything. She'd be, she'd be on top of it quite quickly. She'd be like, I'm doing this anyways. The hell with the elections. I'd be doing this anyway. That's what Mary Robinson would do. And you just sit there, Mike D. Higgins. And you just care about what the rest of the world's doing. Oh, I have to make a good issue in America. I have to do this. I have to go to... Uh, the Irish people have to pay for my fits to pursue. Oh, lovely. I, I'm getting new, I need to get a new car when I retire. Because the Irish people's tax is paid for. That's all you care about. Do you not care about young people's mental health and president? Should I even call you president? Should I call you dictatorship? Because you don't seem to know that's even president at all. And let me tell you something, Mr. President, or Mr. Dictator. You will not get my vote, and you will not get anybody I know vote. Because I tell them to vote anybody else. I have vote Osama Bin Laden, let known you. And that's the truth. I tell people to vote Osama Bin Laden. If he was alive, I'd rather have him stand than stand with you. Because you were absolutely dismayed. I give you a chance. You get, you got a whole day, the tech too. I say you were told, but you just ignored it. You just completely ignored it. I say that's all you cared about. You cared about your wallet. You probably had to go to the bike or something. You were just ignorant. You were ignorant, Mr. President. That's all you are. You were ignorant. Ignorant little man of a president. You were in the uh, charge of the defense forces. Charge of the state. And you let poor innocent children die because they don't have a mental facility. I know there's only 15 beds, but they're really very sick. Them children. And God knows where they are. They could be let out on the street. I know it's not their fault, but it's it's definitely your fault for not making sure it's your priority. You should be down there. And anybody who takes the gun to vote Mike D. Higgins in the next election, don't vote him in. Don't vote him in. Tell him to go off. Because he's looking for a second term and he's not going to give us anything. What's he giving us? Fucking sitting up in the hours, drinking tea, doing nothing. Tell him to do something. Tell them to go down to Cherry Orchard Hospital. Go outside, meet the people that are protesting about the hospital. Meet them, talk to them, say I'm going to give every set of my wages to use. And you can open the hospital again, get more staff, get more resources, build a few more extra beds. And he'll be all gandy. But no, he decided he has more money than the Pope. He has more money than the church. He has more money than anybody else. He has more, probably more money than... He has more money than Donald Trump, probably. But he's just so greedy. At least Donald Trump has a bit of... Cop on to take, not to take money off people. Because he's a millionaire already, he doesn't need the money off the people. At least I give Donald Trump that. But you just being an ignorant, uh, ignorant bollocks and taking your money still. You wonder for a second time, you used to be a teacher. You get that teacher's salary because you're over pension age. So you be getting that teacher's salary. And you be getting the TD salary because you used to be in the door, didn't you? You used to be in government, yeah. When you were younger, but you still get the salary. So don't worry, you don't, don't worry your little head. You're going to get that salary anyway. But do you, if, I, if I had my way, and if I was the head of the bikes, I literally wouldn't give you a set. Unless you've done something for the country, I wouldn't give you a set. i never seen you pass one good bill. You tried to bring in Irish water. You failed in that. And you couldn't say boo about it. And somebody called you a little leprechaun up in Dublin. And you absolutely bought the call over that. He was only... And he, then he said about something you you done. And you wouldn't do it. And then you said, 
when my, my Mary McAleese wanted to go for a second term. You had the guts to say that she shouldn't run for a second term. And now you are running for a second term. Now what kind of a corrupt president are you? And I don't care. And I, I wouldn't even call you Mr. President anymore. I would refer, if I met you on the street in the morning. See you came around trying to get votes. See you came to my town looking for votes. I wouldn't even refer to you as Mr. President. I call you Mr. Dictator. And that's how much disrespect I have for my own president. And I tell you that and I say it to your face. Because I have enough. I have enough. I hope you'll get kicked out of the office. I hope somebody else comes. I couldn't care who else came. I couldn't care if they were ten times worse than you. I watch you out. At least they probably do something. One, I only ask for one, one thing. Go down and at least acknowledge that you're even seeing the message. Instead of just ignoring it. So yeah, now thank me for watching. If you do, can you support uh, the campaign for Saving Cherry Orchard? Methodist Cindy would be a great help to me and not a great help to Michael D. Higgins because I'm just saying this to everybody, don't fault him in. He's not watered. He's not even water fault. He's not even watch your paper. He's not even watch your time. So don't even bother listening to his political debates or whatever he has to say because he hasn't done anything. He's been seven years in government. He's done one thing nice. And as simple as that. And I don't care what he takes of me. I couldn't care what the what the, he takes of me. I couldn't care. I know I know somebody be telling him, but I really don't care. Be honest with you, I'm past where he can. I'm only telling you the truth, Mr. President. And I will refer to you as that for the last, last time in my human career. And if I do call you that again, then may I die a horrible death. That's all I say. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and bye.